Hey, how's it going? Dern D back with you once again, and we're finally back to our Let's Play of Stellaris with the Star Trek New Horizons mod, as well as uh, the Alpha mod. This is actually my second attempt recording this because I booted up the game and had a look around, and it was like, uh, hey, did I actually enable the Alpha mod? Because I was taking a look at planets, and I noticed something different. Uh, some of the terrain now no longer provide bonuses. So, uh, I did notice that uh, Steam was downloading some workshop items. What those particular workshop items were, I'm not completely sure. So I don't know if Alpha Mod has, in fact, been updated. So you no longer get that terrain bonus. But in this particular game, we're no longer getting bonuses. So... I don't know what's causing that in particular. I'm not sure if it's the Alpha Mod. I'm not sure if it's the Alpha Mod interacting with the New Horizons Mod. But that's where we stand. However, some train still provides bonuses. Uh, volcanic Chain still provides bonuses. Um, sinkholes don't provide bonuses anymore. Uh, Tap Volcano will provide extra energy credits. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to be... Uh, well, give us a chance to clear off some tiles anyway, since they no longer have an effect. Like I said, I'm not sure why that bonus is no longer there. I'm not sure if it's a decision about the alpha mod or whatever. But anyway, we'll continue our Let's Play, and we'll adapt and overcome. So yeah, uh, we're back, and actually, it's been uh, quite a while since I played this particular campaign. Uh, took a break over Christmas, went out of town, had some relatives come over, all that fun stuff. And now I'm back. You should expect a regular content on the channel again uh, every day uh, doing this and, of course, doing that daily RimWorld episodes as well. Uh, so we do have an inactive building. Uh, so looks like the Alpha Mod buildings are still working because the biomass furnace is there. Uh, so, okay, that population is going to come in and take care of that. We are in a bit of an energy crunch, mainly because we're at war with the Ferengi, who are allied with the Trill. Let's take a look at our galaxy, and we have uh, this fleet right here, bombarding Trill. We're going to leave them there in orbit, because uh, I've tried to invade Trill in the past. They seem to come up with some sort of resistance movement or whatever, so uh, yeah, we're just going to stay in orbit and bomb the crap out of them. That's, that's what we're going to do. So, uh, we got to continue this war we have. The third, okay, where's the first order? and Why are you in orbit? You're kind of hanging back there. Do I have a reason to have you hanging back there? I'm not sure. I think I was possibly keeping you in reserve. Just, whoa! In case something like this happens. We got a 2.5k fleet heading towards the third order. So we'll send the first order up to uh, reinforce them. This is going to be a bit of an interesting fight, I think. Let's take a look at our research in the meantime. We have regenerative shields coming up in 33 months. Um, oh, these guys uh, twins or what? Um, so nine months till Corvette Assembly Yards and eight months for research alternatives. So uh, let's take a look at this sector because it looks like we're going to have a bit of a fun time here. All right. Are we allied with Tholians? No, Sheliacs. Okay. We're just kind of hanging out in Tholian space. Because it's so cool. Okay, so here comes the 2.5k fleet. We are in slow-mo here. We should win. Who do we have for a... We have Ray, the uh, female Ferengi captain. That's kind of unheard of. And we have uh, Ileana Nador. Nador who is in charge of our fleet. We do outnumber them. Uh, they don't have shields. We don't have shields. Okay, that's good. So there's no bonus there. And we do have the first order on the way to hopefully back these guys up. Hopefully they don't take too long to arrive. Okay, third order. Let's continue watching the fight. So we have 3k versus their kind of 2.4, maybe 2.5. Uh, looks like we're out of Corvettes. They have a lot of Corvettes, though. So we kind of have heavier ships towards their kind of more numerous uh, little ships. So 
We'll see how this works out. So it's 2.5 versus about 2.3. Uh, second order is in combat. Who are they fighting? They're fighting a transport fleet. Okay, that's not not a big thing. The first order, first order should be jumping out here. You're still two jumps away. Oh, that's not fun. Uh, okay, 1.8 versus 2.1. We may actually lose this. I may have to get Ileana to retreat. Only four ships left. Only three ships left. Um, okay. Yeah, we'll get Ileana to uh, back out here. Got to do the smart thing sometimes. Got to save that five-star admiral. You know, put her in charge of the uh, first order. Actually, Elim Russell. Moving up there. They're 5.1k fleet, so they're pretty good. And actually, you know, maybe it's not such a bad thing that we lost some of those ships. Oh, our Sheliac friends are up here. So our second order, no, our fourth order, first order. We're actually going to want to send you up here to back up our friends, the Sheliacs. Kind of, I don't know what they are. Kind of funky looking. I think they were in the original series. Can't remember. Kind of just like a blob of something. A blob of what? I'm not sure. I'm going to say silicon. Or maybe silicone, that's stuff that you use to kind of patch up, well not patch up, but uh, fill in cracks around windows and stuff so you uh, keep your heating bill down, you know? You want to be conscientious of that stuff. Uh, let's take a look at our planets in the meantime while we try to reposition our fleets. Uh, spaceports. Should probably build some more ships, actually. Surfaces is what we're looking for. Okay, Osex, fine. Bij, it's fine. Leshma. Uh, well... Seeing that there's no point in keeping these mountain ranges anymore. What about this thing? Active vo volcano? Will we lose our hydro plant? No. Will we lose it. Do we have a geothermal plant? No, we don't. That's a power plant three. That should be replaced with the Batharian reactor, actually. Batharian minery produces two Batharian stones. Hmm. That's kind of interesting, actually. I wouldn't mind an extra Batharian stone. Let's go for that. We will lose some energy, but having an extra stone should uh, help us in the long run. Uh, okay. Mountain ranges... Oh, we're out of energy, so we can't do anything else. So we do have some of the Alpha Mod buildings still in place. But like I said, we're, we no longer seem to be drawing in those um, those extra resources from some of those tiles. Okay, here's the uh, third order. They're licking their wounds right now. I'm going to let them do that. Then I'll send them up to back up these guys. Have they started the fight yet? 1.5 to 2.1. One. We did bloody them a bit, so it's good for us. First order. We're going to want to take them out. They are a couple of jumps away, so maybe we're going to start want to look at technology that will help us um, go to warp a little bit faster. Having these guys so far behind really, really didn't help our cause. Um... Okay, let's take a look at our planets. These guys are doing fine. What are we doing for food? Food's at zero, though. Arid terrain. Can I... build those sand crawlers? On this terrain? I don't think so. Build a frontier clinic. Makes things a little bit more habitable. Uh, research alternatives plus one. That's good for us. Let's see, we got a fleet academy. We have a Xeno Zoo. Ethics Divergence minus 20. We might want that since we're kind of a xenophobic, imperialistic species. We don't want anyone getting any kind of funny thoughts about leaving the great Cardassian order. We are the best that there ever was. Okay, so everyone is doing good here. Said so we might as well clear some of these tiles uh, once we get the energy credits for it. Good thing about losing some of those ships, uh, well, we're not spending so much 
in our uh, credits and our minerals by being over our naval capacity. Looks like our Shellyak friends might have uh, jumped out, retreated. We didn't make it in time. That's too bad. Research is done again at Corvette Assembly Yards. Wait, want one of those battleships? Yes, please. Nothing like a good battleship. Okay, so what do we got in the system here? Uh, we do have quite a large invasion fleet here. Where are they going? They're jumping out, are they? In eight days. I don't think we can make it to them in eight days. I don't think this is going to work for us. We may have to chase them. Five days. Ooh, just heard a big old explosion. Sounds like a star base or something was taken out. Okay. Come on, guys. Full impulse engines, laddie! Oh, okay, so we've colonized Escaline Prime. Okay, uh, so what's going on here? We have one food. We're going to need more than one food, though. Uh, we would lose a mineral if we built a hydroponics facility there. Let's uh, let's go for the Frontier Clinic again. For the uh, the bonus to habitability. We want things to be nice and awesome for our Cardassian colonists. Okay, so there it goes. That fleet. Will we be able to make it to uh, being able to take out their transport fleet? The answer to that is a big old fat no. Second order, where are you? We'll get you to follow these guys. Uh, third order, okay, they finished licking their wounds. We're going to send you to this system. Okay. And uh, let's let's just take a look at the uh, galactic power rating here. Uh, looks like everyone's pathetic compared to us. Well, you bet it, buddy. Cardassians are the ultimate. We have the best spoonheads around. Um... We do have a couple transport fleets not doing anything, so we're, we will send them to this system. And I think we need to trade some so fleet engaged. Where? Okay. Where are we? We are here, 2.1. Did we jump in on top of them? Is that what happened? Looks like it. Okay, so this is going to be a big old cluster. Uh... The Romulans have opened their borders to us. That's neat. Looks like their starship fleet went out, but we will be able to take out their transport fleet, which is good. That means they won't be invading anybody anytime soon. At least not until they can jump out and retreat. Okay, so we'll clear this, clear this. And we still want to do a trade planets and sectors. No, that's not what we want. We want... You shall rift detect it where? Where? Okay. So we are in this system. Their fleet is moving where? Will it tell us? Maybe this system? I don't know. We want to mess up their planets anyway. So we're going to grab the first order. We will send you to this system. Okay. We want these guys kind of close by just in case... Those folks kind of jump back and try to take out our weaker fleet here. Uh, so I still want to do that trade. So we are looking for what? We're looking for people to trade with. Who likes us? Shelly Act does. And the Breen. Okay, communicate. Uh, offer a trade deal. We will give you our minerals. We will give you a thousand. It's a nice round number. And what are you going to give me in energy credits? You are going to give me... 401. Okay, so we want to slack this off a bit. We don't want to give them too much an advantage in this trade deal. Just want to do it where it's at. One, confirm. They should accept that. Okay. So we're still in a negative energy balance, but that's fine. Hostile fleet presence in this system. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's go mess up 
this particular planet. Trade deal has been completed. Excellent. And we can clear this uh, clear this thing. Okay, cool. Uh, we're back to 3% for our war score. That's not so hot. Um, I got to go back to Trill because I think these guys got kind of uh, distracted a little bit. I must have moved one of my fleets out away from Trill because I do want to blockade it. Uh, like I said, I can't grab the 7th and 6th order. I can't do an actual invasion of Trill. I've tried it before. You've seen the videos. I do an invasion and then they're all like, uh, hey, sudden rebellion. And then I get kicked off the planet and I lose war score. So, uh... I'm not going to try to fight it anymore. Like Brian, it's Brian Adams, don't fight it. I don't know. One of those 90s crooners. I think it's Brian Adams. Tom Cochran, maybe? Don't fight it. Uh, okay. So everything else is going good? Still order over this. Um, probably going to want to release one of these planets into a sector. Okay, here they come. I bet you they're moving back to the tile system, right? Okay, we're going to surprise them. We're going to surprise them. We're going to grab the first order. And we're going to head back here. Okay, first order has to finish blowing up whatever it's attacking. Okay, so hopefully they don't take too long doing that. It's a single battle cruiser. Got little ships surrounding them. We can only assume they are like shuttlecraft. I always got the feeling that that was basically like the the Federation's fighter craft was the was the shuttles. Am I wrong around that? Did they have like actual fighters? I know, like in Deep Space Nine, they kind of used the runabouts as I don't know fighters, supplemental ships to the Defiant. Uh, first order, we want you to come back hither. So we're going to surprise these folk when they jump in. I know that they're coming. I saw it. Hopefully they don't take too long to jump out. Game is saving. We do have some energy credits that we could actually spend now. And I was going to look for a planet that I could release to Sector Hood. So, uh, what's what's kind of an underperforming planet? Okay. My style fleet presence here. Oh, they got a colony ship going out too. That's fine. You follow... Okay, you are going to join up with them. Are they actually coming in here? Three ships from yours? Hmm. Okay, let's let's just head back this way and see what jumps in. Because I don't see that large fleet. I don't know where they ended up. But they got something jumping in. Okay, so that's these folk again. Maybe that's our ships that are coming in. Hopefully this doesn't backfire on me. Fleet engaged. So fleet engaged. Yeah, where did that 2.1k fleet go? I'm not sure. Is it over there? First privateers? No. Maybe they hid? They saw my massive Cardassian fleet. And they said, screw you guys. I'm going home. Okay, no, there they are. So, uh, first order, uh, we want you to get out of here, actually. Okay, so we have to take out this destroyer. Hopefully we won't take too long. I should have stuck with my original plan. Now these guys are going to be a bit outgunned. Hopefully Elam will make it and save the day. Okay, so we took him out. Good. We want you to come here. Yes, we want 
you to go. Okay, so they are going there. Um, the combat stats that we do. We didn't lose anything. Good for us. So hopefully this fleet can hold out long enough for the uh, First Order to come in. I don't know if that's going to happen. How long is it going to take them to warp out? Uh, seven days, six. Okay. We might be able to hold off long enough. We warped out yet. There we go. It's going to take us a few days to get here. Um, are they retreating? Looks like they're retreating. Warp to Merchark. So they are actually headed back this way. Okay. We're just going to wave hello to each other as we pass each other in warp space. Uh, have we bombarded this planet? To submission looks like we have so we got a couple transport fleets um, where are you folks okay you are in interstellar space so we'll get you to land do some damage uh, so the blockade trill is going around well so we're at 43% for war score that's good I don't know maybe it might be a good idea just to kind of have this smaller fleet to go do the bombardment We'll have the larger fleet just kind of protect them. Losing 43 energy a month. That's kind of sucky. Uh, still got to try to figure out what planet I'm going to release to Sector Hood. Uh, how many Batharian stones do we have now? According to this, none. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so... Surface, planet summaries, Four, 44 minerals, can't really give that up, 30 and 20, 16 and 9, minus 13 plus 48, minus 13 is not great, plus 48 is pretty good though, 10 and 26, that's kind of a middling planet, isn't it? Okay, uh, so this is Crash, where is Crash, in the galactic map here, it's up there. All right, let's uh, let's release Crash into his sectors. So planets and sectors. Uh, we're gonna make a new one. Crash, you're all by yourself. You may have some missing resources, but that's fine. I was kind of hoping that would reduce our energy credit deficit. Doesn't look like it's done that much though. That's fine. Once the war's over, we should have energy to spare. And I'm pulling in about 300 minerals a month. So, I mean, we can do some trading here. Um, tier, why can't I go into the tier sector? Third order. Yes, we're here. Oh, I'm still in the sector. Chummy. That's the official name of it, the sector chummy. It's like a thingy, but more friendly. Okay, so we don't want you to enter the orbit. We just want you to land. Okay, so 6.6K. We'll get you to move over here. Okay. All right. I think the war is going well. I feel like we should do another trade. Uh, let's trade with the Breen. The Breen are fine folk. Hostile fleet, where? What's going on here? Okay, that is one of our transport fleets being attacked by random privateers. Why is our transport fleet all the way over there? 29 days till FTL is ready? What? That is a bit ridiculous. And we're just going to kind of lose this fleet by the looks of it. I don't know. The, the transport fleets in the New Horizons mod, they are they do seem to have a bit more meat to their bones. They are a little bit less vulnerable to getting wiped out by random fleets. So we can last 14 more days. We should be good. Oh, the Bachnor. We have the Bachnor class, actually. Cardassians is not very creative in naming some of the, their transport ships. They're just like CNS. Nope, there goes that fleet. Never mind. 
Never mind. I'm not sure why we were over there anyway. We did do that raid of the Gamma Quadrant a while back. Maybe that's why. Uh, transport fleets. Have you started your assault yet? Station complete. Okay, we're going to be attacked here. On the land there. On the land there. And... I mean, you could jump up your war score a lot just by blockading a bunch of, of planets, assuming... Assuming that uh, your opponents can't muster some sort of navy to take you out. Still haven't figured up out like a good word for like a space fleet. I guess that space fleet is good. I keep wanting to say navy though. Even though there's nothing naval about it. I know. Naval terms seem to carry over into space sci-fi things. Okay, so... The heck is this? It's our transport fleet. Okay, we'll get you to follow you. Okay, and we're going to grab this fleet, the Third Order. And we're going to get you to head where? Maybe down here? Ooh, are we at war with someone else? Dominion declared war on someone. Okay. What's on the go in this system? We jumped in and I don't think we did much else, so... Ah, uh, yeah, we're going to want to take out the Starbase here. There's actually a couple planets in this system to attack, so I may redirect the Third Order to this system. Seems like it would make more sense. Um, okay, let's take a look at some of our planets. Probably can't assign any governors, can I? Yeah, we're, we're still tapped out there, so going to be taking a look for uh, different technologies that will help us out in that end. Ashmore, building a frontier clinic. Cardassia Quatris, uh, waiting for population to come in. Yanessa, we can upgrade our natural fuels converter. Uh, Thamoria, uh, well, probably going to stick in a mine there. Mineral processing plant minerals plus 10%. We're not really doing a lot of mineral process. Yeah, we're going to go for the mining network. And where did I leave off? Matar, probably my next spot. Now we are getting low on energy credits again. Minerals coming up. Uh, I was going to trade with the Breen, and then I completely forgot about it. So we're going to offer a trade deal to the Breen. We're offering you our minerals. Start off with a thousand. Hopefully these got no, no, they don't have any energy credits in reserve. That's kind of sucky. Uh, who else are we friendly with? Tholians, friendly with the Tholians. Uh, trade deal. Okay, all you have is more minerals. That doesn't help us. Uh, what about the Bajorans? They don't hate us. So we'll offer a trade deal. We want to trade you our minerals. Let's transfer. Let's see, energy credits. Minus 50. Okay, so that, that's not going to work for us. Uh, back to the Shelly Axe, I suppose. We want energy credits, please. As many as you can spare. Okay, which... Oops! Doesn't seem to be a lot. Okay. Minus 10. There we go. Minerals. Game is saving, so give it a second. And we are in a energy deficit right now, so we do have to... Uh, we don't want a research agreement. Instant transfer. Uh, there we go. Confirm that. They have their borders closed to us? That's kind of funny. Kind of awesome trading partners, but they have their borders closed. Okay, and our fleet power has gone down because we couldn't power our shields. Oh, that, that should change now. We do have a bunch of random ships coming to join up here. 
some Frangie par privateers there. Uh, we will send this fleet in to help. Clear this, clear this. Spatial rift detected somewhere. Meditations on a crimson shadow! The drill glint stood tall over the recruits. Her face is stone and her stare stretching for light years. You are all here for one reason and one reason alone to defend the Cardassian people. Her voice boomed across the courtyard. None of us chose this war. It was thrust upon us. The Rashikarian dogs will stop at nothing to destroy the Cardassian Union to push our people back to the Cardassians and eradicate us from the galaxy. But you, you will not let that happen. Am I right? She demanded as the thousands of volunteers shed it in unison. For Cardassia! The publication of Ultra Prelax's latest work of science fiction, Meditations on a Crimson Shadow, has led a surge in voluntary application to the Order. Across the Cardassian Union, Prelock describes a series of wars in the distant future between the Cardassian Union and the villainous Rakarian Free States. Focused on the extermination of the Cardassian people, Archon Rill Pam has described the work. It's particularly relevant given the current relations with the Rakarian Free State. Okay, so what is... Oh, our upkeep goes down and our naval capacity goes up. Love it! I like for that to happen a lot more. Keep on writing. Make everyone pa patriotic. Basically, what happened? Someone wrote a Cardassian version of Top Gun, <laughs> and we got better recruitment. That, that's that's my theory. I'm gonna relate everything to Top Gun. No, I'm not actually gonna relate everything to Top Gun. But uh, hey, apparently Top Gun did. Do some great stuff for, like, naval recruitment back in the 80s. Everyone want to fly F-14s and go to the danger zone? Be Tom Cruise. Man, back when I was a kid, you know, the plane, the, the fighter plane that was, like, the cool fighter plane was the F-14. And part of that was due to Top Gun, I'm sure. And even if you look... It, like, I do watch some anime, and, like, I started watching it, like, back in the 80s with Macross. And, you know, the, the transporting fighters in Macross, you know, they're really based on F-14s, I think. So, they, Top Gun, major influence on a lot of kind of military-related stuff back in the day. Okay, enough talking about Top Gun. Lana, Danger Zone. <laughs> Let's get focused again. So we're bombarding this planet. Uh, we will start bombarding this planet. Spatial Rift detect it. Uh, the Frengi are sending in some privateers. We are over our war score limit. I forget what I'm actually fighting for, which is kind of sad. Negotiate. We want to make the Frengi tributaries. Okay. Gotcha. So we will bombard this planet as well. Excellent. And we'll start doing some invasions. Transport fleet 29. Cardassia. I should start pumping out some more troops. Uh, troops. Assault armies. Cardassian mechs. I wonder what they would actually look like. You know, I'm, I'm playing the... Uh, the Star Wars mod as well. I was like, and I'm playing with the Alpha mod enabled. And I was like, uh, Max, is that really a Star Wars thing? And I thought about it after a while. I was like, yeah, well, there's like Imperial Walkers and stuff. I'd like to see what a Federation mech would look like, or a Cardassian mech, or a, a Fringy mech. I'm, I'm sure there's there's some sort of fan art crossover that someone has probably done somewhere that answers my question. But uh, that'd be an interesting kind of overlap. A battle tech. Star Trek. That'd be the, the clash of worlds for sure. Uh, okay, uh, so it looks like this planet is ripe for invasion. Let's land our armies. What are we up against here? Surface armies 1.57 versus 2.07. We should be okay there. With the, the old Starship Trooper landing. Uh, 
Uh, research is done. Okay, we can now have regenerative shields. Awesome. Jesset plus two power plants. Well, considering we're in a bit of an energy crunch, better power plants would be good. And we'll have to think about upgrading our shields once the war is over. If you want it. War is over now. Okay. So we're doing this invasion. Cool. Things are going fairly well. Except for this major energy crunch that we are facing. Uh, we should have a free leader now, actually, that we have. Do I have my, any of my sectors under... No, I don't. Oh. So, we should have a free person, though, hey? I guess that planet didn't have a governor in the first place. Never mind! Whatever I was going to do, forget about it. Because it's not going to happen. Really got to try to get some technologies that allow me to have more leaders. Okay, so this invasion almost done. Okay. That doesn't leave us with a lot of... Um, Assault troops to work with. So we'll let Cardassia build some more armies here. And uh, while that's happening, let's uh, take a look at some of our surfaces again. See if we can maybe start working on some energy producing buildings. Nothing there. Okay. Well, that will be good once that population actually comes in. Uh, we can upgrade our natural fuels converter here. That's going to be good for us. Can upgrade this building and okay we're focusing on energy so we're gonna pop in what frontier brewery no do we have any fissionable materials we do what planet was that though Inessa build and we want to build a nuclear plant the Moria upgrade that how come we can't upgrade you? Power plant three. We need a planetary capital. I don't think we have the population for it. Matar. They're tapped out, but we can clear some of these tiles now. Got to be a little bit careful, though, with spending those energy credits. Uh, so, Shelly X. We're going to offer you another trade deal. Let's make a deal. Okay. We have even less energy credits now. Instant transfer. And we want to get you at plus one if we can. There we go. Confirm. Okay. Trade deal is done. That bought us a little bit of time. Okay. Transport fleet 28. We'll get you to join up there. Hopefully it doesn't take you that long to, uh... So what route are you taking, or route? Prene la route canal. You're gonna go through Trill. You're gonna go through there. Okay, research is done. Okay, we can now build battleships. That's kind of cool. Don't know how I feel about, uh... Building mechs. Like I said, it's not really Star Trek canon. Army health plus 10%. Like the idea of that, though. And, uh, Frontier Commissioners... Commissioners, they're almost done. So, again, we gotta keep an eye out for something that will give us more leaders. We need more leader beans. Na 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 leader. Couple of what late '90s Simpsons references, early 2000s Simpsons references. Uh, influence University Bridge Station. None of these let me have more leaders. Naval capacity plus 10%. I could go for some of that, though. It's going to help reduce this a little. Um, okay. Second order. Hopefully the Ferengi will just kind of give up at some point. First order is kind of huge. So maybe I can break these guys up. Split fleet. We'll grab the fourth order. 
And we will send them down here to maybe blockade some more planets. Like I said, if I can get that war goal number up far enough, maybe they will just surrender and uh, turn over their valuable latinum to me. There's an idea to the creator of this mod. Change, I don't know, either energy credits or minerals to latinum. Maybe the energy credits, because they're kind of golden, anyway. Gold Press Latinum. Third Order, what are you doing? You're just kind of hanging out there in space, hey? And now you're back from out of space. Um, yeah, so we can actually send you somewhere. I guess we'll get you to go to that system as well. And actually, that transport fleets. Yeah, I think I have them set up to all of those guys. A uh, fairly large contingent of privateers there. So perhaps the fourth order should head down here. Are they still in the system? What are you doing? You're warping to tile? Tile is that sector, hey? Fourth order. We'll get you to go here. Try to defend the planet that we invaded. God, I wish I had more trading partners. Okay, so fourth order. Have you started moving out yet? Okay. I started a weird kind of clunk. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. Okay, we're going to beat them. Okay, excellent. Cool, this war is going great so far for the Cardassians. We will be victorious, I believe, anyway. I believe in that propaganda piece that we wrote. Breen, do you have any energy credits yet? Communicate, trade deal, energy credits, instant transfer, minus bollocks. That's what I say to that, bollocks. So we should beat these guys here. Uh, okay. You know, like I said, can't really do anything on the planet surfaces right now because we're in this war situation and we are over our naval capacity so much that it's hurting us super bad. Okay, so we'll go here. They're going to be warping in here, so we want to head down there. So we will jump on top of them as soon as they come in. Uh, they don't have a, an admiral. We're fighting Ray again, hey? Please don't tell me they actually have 34 ships. Seems a bit overkill. And all they're building is corvettes at the same time. Please tell me we have more than one ship here. Or it's some sort of super ship. Okay, it looks like things are about equal. They don't have shields. But they have kind of a lot of little annoying ships, so I don't know. We haven't really done any upgrades to our fleets either. Things may be a little bit stagnant. Okay. Doing okay so far. We can take out like five of their corvettes to one of our destroyers. I don't know. 2.9 versus 2.3. Come on, guys. You should be able to hit better than 84%. Hard to say how this is going to go. I mean, they do have kind of that admiral, so... 2.7 to 2.2. They should lose another cruiser, or they should lose a cruiser very shortly. That should take out a nice bit of their naval capacity. Hit points 81. Come on, guys. 31. Zero. Perfect. Okay, that put him down to two. There goes the destroyer. Once that's gone, they should lose yet yeah, another 200. Corvettes are starting to drop like flies. And this number seems to be starting to move in our favor. Uh, let's see. 
so far the attacker or the defender. I guess we're the defender, because that's in green. Well, we will be losing the battle cruiser very soon. 2.7 to 1.5, though. I mean, that should, in theory, be a win for us. And we are maxed out on minerals. I really got to see if I can do a trade again. Just give me a second. We'll let the battle continue. Um, I mean, I've, I've kind of tapped out the Sheliacs, eh? What about these guys? They're, they're only minus one. Oh, that's the Cardassian wannabes. Out for trade. We want your energy credits. Okay, you, you guys got some stuff to trade, eh? Minus 41 minerals. Please give us all that you have. Okay, that should be good for us. That worked out awesomely. I'm glad that uh, those wannabe Cardassians have... Are they our subjects? Yeah, they're tributary. Okay, that's the guys that we uh, took in the Gamma Quadrant, right? Uh, so we have a couple battle cruisers left to their numerous corvettes. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. Like that, that, <laughs> that battle cruiser is just kind of going back and forth. Uh, okay, so where is third order? They are actually a couple jumps away. I gotta say, the Fringi have been putting up a pretty good fight. I've, I've had to uh, kind of fall back and lick my wounds a couple times. Okay, guys, like, concentrate on a single ship. Just don't, like, half damage eight different ships, okay? Like, concentrate your fire. It's like playing, you know, Final Fantasy, and you got, like, three different enemies on the other side. And you concentrate on one dude. You don't break up your damage. It's novice. Okay. Liana, I don't know if they're going to make it. What do we got left here? 3.8. We may have to send these guys. Okay, well, let's start our landing here. And let's move these guys back here to hopefully clean up. What's our, yeah, okay, so we did lose that. Now where are these guys going? They're going to Nambaria. Nambaria is the where? This system, third order. Okay, let's see if we can bait them down there. Okay, so they are warping out. Good, third order. No, first order. Get you to go down there. Hopefully they'll commit to warp. Looks like they have, good. Uh, we do have guys in this system. They're going to be coming in here. That's fine. Is this Bajoran space? Randomly Bajoran space in the middle of Ferengi space? Looks like it is. Uh, what's on the go here? A couple transport fleets. And we do have a friendly fleet there. Cool. And of course, the war score has gone down because... Well... Where are you guys going? Land. There, please. Don't... Don't do something silly, please. I've done enough silly things in this game. Okay, so... Basically, we just want these guys to... Keep that, uh... 25 ships, that can't be right. Great, Ilianda, I believe in you. Construction ships got nothing to do, I just gotta double check on that. I don't think our borders have grown or anything special in the meantime. Doesn't look like it. Sign ship, what are you doing? You're kind of just doing some random exploration? That's cool. As long as you're doing something useful. Okay, so everyone's converging on this system. Yeah, we want to jump these guys as soon as they come in. And hopefully everything will work out for us. So Elam, Ilianda, 
we're actually under our naval capacity right now, which is very unusual. But hey, we can build battleships now, so just take a quick look at that, hey? Um, okay, phasers are already at level 3. Is it... I thought we could just build battleships now. I'm, I'm kind of confused. Why do we have a ship design? Oh, battle cruiser and battleship. Gotcha! I understand. Let's do some phasers. Actually, yeah, let's do kind of one, one of each there. Uh, we'll do some disruptors. Drop one of those in there. Let's do a phaser cannon. Torpedoes. We don't have photon torpedoes yet, hey? Okay, we'll drop those down. Uh, let's go with the warp engine upgrades. Upgrade everything as best I can. What's this do? Ship mounted subspace snare, jump charge. Okay, that's neat. Nanobot cloud. Tractor beam combat speed minus. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the healing. Open damage plus 10%. I like that. We're doing okay for power, so I don't think I really need to take any of these. What's What goes here? Okay, we got shields. Okay, perfect. Uh, okay, let's drop in the deflector. And we will drop in, let's see, let's get some Trillium D. She wants me for the Trillium D. I'm Whatever this thing is, Magnesite, uh, modular nuclear reactor. I don't think we need that. No, we, we do have a bit of a power deficit now. So, all right, let's let's upgrade our warp core. It's going to cost us four thousand per ship. Um, let's do an emergency backup system because why not? Flector, armor plus eight, FTL speed. So, all right, let's just. Keep dropping in deflectors. It's going to up our armor. All right. Save that. And we will put in an order for two battleships. That's probably going to drive our naval capacity to hell again. All right. So let's see what kind of fight we got on our hands here. They're probably like, oh, crap. So we're winding down. So... We should be able to take these guys out now. That should up our war score. All right, 71%. Oh, we're doing that invasion. Hopefully we have enough to actually take that planet. Thing is, they actually have planetary fortification because our, our guys did kind of abandon the bombardment. 0.5. Not quite sure how that one's going to go, actually. Hard to say. All right, let's go back to the fleet battle because uh, we have more things to look at, more phasers. How's research going? 22, 21, and 15. Okay, so we did take them out. Perfect. Uh, okay, so. What do we want to do? Want to consolidate these fleets? She's the better admiral. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Elam, you're out of a job for now. Or maybe not. Uh, okay, uh, third order. Okay, where are we going to send you? We're going to send you... To this system, I guess. And uh, let's uh, let's take a look at the invasion here. Point five eight. Okay, so they're they're being multiplied by zero point three eight. So I don't know if that's going to be enough to help them. Looks like it might be though. I mean, looks like my invasion armies are kind of slacking off there. Uh, yeah. So let's build some more assault armies. Because we are definitely going to need them. I need nine, two points, oh seven, like that. Zero point three eight 
is enough to mess this up. That's kind of silly. But anyway, that's the game. I don't know, maybe if we can take out some of these garrisons. It's going to speed things up. I don't think I've sped up the game at all so far. I've been, I've been kept busy. Can't get these guys to retreat, hey? Yep. Well, that's the way she goes. Oh, darn. I'll tell you what, we're going to grab... Second order here. You guys going to go in orbit there. I mean, like I said, we can... kind of max things out just through blockades. Alright, so let's go take out the space station. How's our battleship production going? Spaceport. It's going to take us like two years to build each one. It's kind of realistic. I mean, you, you don't slap together a battleship in the course of like six months. You wouldn't think, anyway. What we got here? We got destroyers. We do have a few corvettes, a few battle cruisers. And again, these guys haven't had any actual upgrades in a while. So, fleet present. Hey, it's Ray again! And we'll see if we can take Ray out with... Is that a single ship? It's, three, it's a cruiser and two destroyers. And they have, like, five corvettes. Our fleet should win. In theory. In the Ori. Third Order, how are things going? Lots of border closures. The Zal. I don't know who the Zal are. That's it, that's Zal. Okay. Looks like we've taken out the star base. Just blow up this little mining thing and we will blockade you. Seventy five percent war score. I'm hoping that uh, the Fringi will finally capitulate at some point. Okay, here goes this battle. Actually, I should have a spare admiral now. And okay, I can't, can't assign an admiral in the middle of the battle. That actually makes sense. I get it. I understand. Come on, guys. You can take out three corvettes, even if they are commanded by the venerable Ray. They should lose their admiral once the ship goes. Good. Uh, we'll go back here, start the bombardment. I mean, that's probably going to drive up the war score to like 80%. Uh, so we are still producing armies, spaceports, armies. If I send all these guys to space, park all. Um, so we should have, yeah, 18. Right. Hopefully by the time you guys get there, the planetary defenses will have fallen. Might take a while, though. So, yeah, we're at 100% war score. The war is over. We admit defeat. Best possible outcome. We now have another tributary pulling in 160 energy credits a month. Gotta love it. 440 minerals and two influence. Uh, Tellarites have vassalized the trill. Huh, it's too bad. I kind of wanted to get the trill into my fold. But anyway, I think that's a good point for us to wrap it up. We have taken the Frangi Alliance and they are now diverting their vast stores of latinum to the mighty Cardassians. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please think about liking the video and please think about subscribing to the channels if you uh, haven't as well. We will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Take care.